Now, would you like to do a meditation for it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not prepared. <laughs> A few PowerPoint slides to begin with, <laughs> and then let's just take it from there. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> um, I have a sort of an intro. It's not really an intro, but it's the only thing that seems to come to mind, and it was the same thing that came to mind with them, um, Jim, and the same thing I started with Kenneth, so I might as well start with it. And, um, after that, we'll see what happens. Um, so you know the idea of one and zero, you know ones and zeros, you know in the computer program. Yeah, more or less. I well, hardly understand it. Well, I don't really either, but it's code. Good. It's, yeah. it's code, right? But then, yeah. but the, but then, you can just take it down to the idea of um, one and zero. So I think I'm somebody who's travelled from Ireland, you know, to Vienna, and then from Vienna to Stuttgart. That I'm Frank, and. There's an alternative perspective. So here there's one, somebody. There, there's a different perspective. It's that perspective on what's happening that I'm interested in. Life, mm. like, you know, what it, just what's happening. Mm. So what also arises in that energy, in that boundlessness, is a sudden sense of that energy contracting. And it's uniquely human. That sense of contraction of that energy in that way is it's a human phenomenon. discussing here is the possibility that that whole construct, that whole sense of being an individual in a dualistic world, that whole sense of being able to do something about making that world better, is a complete illusion. We came as soldiers for the dumb Is it on? Yeah. It, it is on. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, on. yeah. Um, and 
Yeah. Thank you, sorry. And... Did not flip all the way around? No. Okay. I don't know, I can't really remember. All I know is it's an hour and 40 minutes of recording. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think it's wonderful. That's good. <laughs> In a way, of course, there's nothing to say. There isn't anything to say. Whatever this is now is bullshit. Because it's words trying to, uh, trying to talk about something that is a mystery and it is beyond words. Start, yeah, there is. You, know, you can't start this because it doesn't start, go on, and then end. Yeah. Non dualism is, is just what is, which is not continuous, but it just is what it is. That's the mystery. Yeah. You know, like I think the closest, like, if you could say the closest you'd come to it in words is um, for me would be to say that um, this is it, really, which isn't close at all. It's just more words again, and it's, uh, but like this, it really is a sense that this is it, I mean, that whatever appears to be happening is it. Uh, there's one perspective and there's no perspective. You don't <clears throat> have a perspective. Well, it's not, you can't say you don't have a perspective, yeah. but everything isn't a perspective. Everything isn't a center. Everything is, is centerless. Mm. It, you know, there's somebody here, is, you know, is coming to me, Tony Paris, to do an interview, is preparing for the interview, yeah. and there's nobody there talking. That's how it is. There isn't anyone here, there's just the, his life, there's just aliveness. There's a response that comes out, but it doesn't come from anyone. It's completely from no thing. But then that is from no thing also, but that's no thing dreaming that it's something. That's all. Yeah. That's all it is, it's all the difference. It's just a dream. I am something, I am a person. It's hard because in fact, there just is no issue. In that sense, there is no issue and there is no message. There's nothing to say about this because it's just whole and complete and yeah, there's nothing to say in that sense. Yeah. And somehow it's almost, to make an issue out of it is artificial. It's part of the dream of me that thinks that there is an issue about that, a separate issue, let's say. Some truth, something that me can talk about, which in fact there isn't. Any sentences are normally associated with a knowing, you know, they're normally linked to, yeah. well, I've been there and I've done that and I mm. know that. Mm. Whereas this is just sounds coming out, is it? You know, just voice, you know, you're, you're speaking. Speaking is happening. Speaking is happening, right. Yeah. But what I was pointing to more okay. is there, that's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. And on top of just everything being what it is, there's this, there's this sense of separation that comes in and puts names and labels and story and time into it as real. Mm. And misses completely everything is what it is. Yeah. But it's still what is. It's still what's happening. It's still that. And when that need for it to be something else, with the experience that it's not enough, falls away, what is, is still what is, as it always was. Mm. It's funny, Doug. It's just lovely, but I don't know what you're talking about. No, exactly, I don't either. No. Don't leave me hanging, though. <laughs> it is known. You know the way you, uh, yeah, some people say it is known. Yeah, I totally yeah. get. I totally get where they're coming from and there's something here that can sort of 
say that. It's like I could almost go, it is, no, it's not. It is, no, it's not. Because there's something that it's in a way, it sort of, it sort of touches on that area of knowing in a way. But it's, it totally is, it never comes down to knowing. It, it is unknowable. It, it's, this, it, the communication comes out of unknowing. Because the the individual in, is, is operates in, a, in that. That's all that it, it, I know. That though, is yeah, the, yeah. The, the individual lives in a loop, a closed loop of knowing. So really, what knowing the world is actually a closed loop of just knowing yourself. That's what it is really about. And all knowing is contextual and an abstraction, really, of 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 what is, you know, of the whole. You could say, you know. So it's it's um, again the individual will the person the parent person will try to know. How can I know that it's about unknowing? Yeah. How can I know that? How can I own that? Because that's what that's the energy of being a person. Gather it in. I want to know this. I want to have this. I want to. So in that sense, it's a very frustrating message. Well, it's a bit them. insane as well. Like they, this, mm. you know, you were kind of saying it's more popular. It isn't really. It is because you're into the subject and you talk about the subject. But in the scheme of what's oh, going on, in the on, grand scheme of things, it's totally nuts. The only thing that words can do is to somehow disentangle the words that you create or the beliefs you create about you being a real person in a real story. That's all that the words can do. They untangle something in the, in the belief system. But basically this is energetic, this is about energy and is completely wordless. And there's an energy to it that is just remarkable. It's nobody's energy. It's just indescribable, it's phenomenal. Mm. it's not personal it's not a personal energy which when the person who the person who's seeking comes in and looks can often find then that that clear communication extremely confronting it's not pleasing it's not to make you feel good it doesn't recognize you as something real <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Um. <laughs> like somebody says, there's nothing I can do. And I say to them, no, it's not that there's nothing you can do. It's far worse than that. There's no you. You know, the whole idea you can't do anything sort of implies there is a real you there that now can't do anything. It's got nothing to do with you at all. There is no you. Because it's already known. And it's not quite the right word, but it's already known. When, when the eye falls away, when it's recognized that nothing's happening, this is everything, at the same moment it's recognized it was always obvious. It's absolutely obvious. So not only is it unbelievable, unknowable, it's also undeniable. It's also absolutely obvious. Yeah. This is the whole uh, dream. I've got to be here. Me has to be here to get through life. But this, the, the irony of that is that me's never got through life. There's no, it's an illusory energy which thinks it's in control and can get through life. There is the life to get through. There's just aliveness. There isn't any way to get to. I think this is the great fear of this message, and that is that it, you think you're going to lose a control, but it's a control you never had. Well, until there's a falling, it, and it, see, this is the cruel part of it. it you're talking about something it, that doesn't even happen. I mean, the falling away of the me doesn't even happen, because the, if the me is an appearance, the apparent set is an appearance to begin with, then when it falls away, it seems that it was never there to begin with anyway. Yeah. And then it, there is only what is there. In a way, it's not that some beliefs uh, gets threatened or some something the apparent me works on. It's it's mere existence that gets threatened. Reality itself gets threatened because yeah. there isn't a reality or there isn't something real, including I am. So energetically, it's about the death of that energy. And that is how it can feel. Seen from the apparent me, it's pretty existential. Yeah. In a way it isn't, because this, I this existence is illusory. But within the dream of I am, it's, it's real. Existence. It's all me knows. 
and not knowing in an intellectual way but that's its sense yeah being present as something separate yeah yeah this is in a way that gets threatened this is essentially something that the me doesn't want the self doesn't want to hear it wants to run as far away as possible the, the, what's, what's actually being looked for by the apparently separate person you don't what's really being looked for you don't want it because what you're looking for is your own absence but from your perspective what's happening well that's the fascinating thing nothing Okay. Nothing's happening. That's outrageous. It's, it is utterly outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what I mean is this: no one ever knows that nothing's happening. So anytime it's discussed or talked about or recognized, it's always the first time or the only time that it's ever been recognized. And so there's always that excitement or that newness or that unbelievability of the reality that this is nothing happening. And when I hear this is nothing happening, I, I think, okay, so, so you're talking about a different type of nothing. Still something's happening, like, look, you know. Right. Well, something is apparently happening. And it's nothing that appears to be something that's happening. It's no thing. It's undifferentiated everything, undifferentiated everything that appears to be happening, that appears to be something particular that happens. Because in a way, the one who feels separate and wants to approach us only consists of the sense of being separate. So it won't come closer than just being very close, which is a story. Yeah. So within ex its experience, it can only stay separate because that's all it does to experience itself as separate. But in the end, the separation is illusory. Mm. So every, every approach is illusory too. And finding the core, finding the one question yeah. that, our, again, it's not really about the question, it's about getting the one and only answer. Yeah. The one answer that clears everything it up all, yeah. for me. Yeah. From that point on, I know. And in a way, that is what the me, th me seeks, points. Or it actually, it seeks that point on which it can say, now I got it. Yeah, I or now I I'm happy. Yeah, or I have that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have that now. Now that's it, forever, from that point on. Yeah. But there are no points. There isn't a real happening. There isn't really something going on in time. And that, but that's what me looks for, personal salvation in a way. Like, ah, now I got it. And the funny thing is, it's just something coming out. But there, there might be somebody that says, oh, I just thought of that. Oh, I will say that. Oh, I won't say that. Yeah. And I'm in here making that decision. Yeah, in and out. That's, yeah, that's, that's true, the yeah. illusion. Yeah. Because nobody's in there doing that. Yeah. It's just what's happening. Nobody's making a choice. And then there's something that comes in and says, oh, I did that. I'm doing that. Yeah. That there is only what appears to be happening. So whatever that is, it's just everything just appears in that, it's that story. Then. Um, and then when other people talk, you can hear that they, they feel that they're in there. They're somewhere in there in the body and they're controlling everything. And they're making stuff happen, and then yeah. there's not there's not actually happening at all. This is this is nothing appearing to happen, but it's very obvious that it's there is only what is, and that when that if that was there, that that's this is wholeness and oneness, right, or whatever you want to call it, or energy, and that there's an artificial addition there, maybe that there is a person called Frank or whatever, yeah, and that's very obvious that that's that's. The, a total story so then that's just something that is appearing to happen also so there's no uh, there's no agenda to try and change that or to try and but there can be a passion about the message that's just shared and it, then it's heard as it's heard mm -hmm. but the person sees it as some sort of complex thing that you're talking about some complex thing that I need to get to some state or you're speaking yeah. from somewhere and it's endless it goes on and on all sorts of projections and da, da, da. and in fact it's just 
so ridiculously ordinarily just what is and if i it would be a loss of an apparent person here more than instead of me having gotten something i've maybe something has been lost here and in that in that loss apparent loss is everything is seen as it is yeah i've called the <clears throat> the separate sense a straight jacket yeah, because that's what it is. It puts it puts the this explosion of everything into a straitjacket of what should and shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. That's the story of me as the straitjacket, and it tries to. What it, it's it's in a way it's pretty sad because it's trying to find what it feels like it missed through all these rules and regulations and ways to be and ways you shouldn't be and what's a good way to be and what's a bad way to be, and so judging people is one way of being fitting into my story. So I'm judging them because they're the way they live their story, the, what they're doing, doesn't fit into what I think is going to fulfill this story. And then I try to make what's right in my story, whether it even goes against the way I feel or not. It's this straitjacket. Yeah. Of trying to make it right, trying to get it right. Yeah. Because if I get it right, I'll find what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. But it's hard to say anything about it. I would just say it just is like this. Yeah, yeah. But there is no separate entity or no separate instance recognizing this. One could go that far. I, well, I, it, it's impossible to describe in the end. One could say that this recognition too is what happens. So the recognition itself is illusory too. There isn't a real recognition that this is everything. It is just everything. What's being suggested is energetic in the sense that the sense of me is an embodied, energetic, embodied, contracted, uh, contra it's a contraction. It's an energetic contraction in the body. It's not a, an idea that I'm a me. Yeah. It's, it's a lived reality. Of course, it's like your friend this morning, you're explaining this to him. He doesn't even, what are you talking about? I mean... And in a way that is what me is. A sense of I am present. Really, I'm here. No matter what I think. I mean me in a way can even think that it's not there. Yeah. S somehow, but yeah. it's, <laughs> you know, or, or <laughs> make up some story or tries to um, talk itself into not being there. Yeah. But it's still, there's the sense of presence. Yeah. Uh. It's... Well, they, uh, yeah, I mean, it's too, it's fucking chalk and cheese. Do you, it's... Mm, yeah, it's... You, I cannot... I, mean, I cannot contemplate at all, like, really. I mean, I can no, think about well, logically the idea of No, it this, doesn't. But it is, like, stratospheric, I feel like. <laughs> I thought that this could be all cool. Remember coming over? Oh yeah, this one's that. This would be cool. Yeah, yeah. having some dogs. Just, just do, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because as I say again, seen from the apparent me, in a way, it's that existential. So why shouldn't it feel like that, in that sense? To find it's the it's the one that everybody wants to get away from, but also is fascinated by. Because, of course, what's fascinating about it is that it offers them nothing. It doesn't offer anything to the seeker. But also it doesn't have any expectation. It's no demand that you should be a certain way. It's not even a recognition that you exist as a real person. That's amazing. It's so rare to come across that. All the, You could go to a million teachers or hundreds of teachers and as far as they're concerned, they are real and you are real and they've got something to teach you to get somewhere. This is completely and utterly different. There's no recognition of anyone and, there's a, and it comes out of the sense that there isn't anything to learn or anywhere to go. That's amazing. Very rare. <laughs> it's outrageous. It is out, it's wonderfully outrageous. The other thing I'd love saying to people, uh, sort of uh, people who try to work it out, this message doesn't make sense. I hope you realise that this message doesn't make sense, and the, this this message, as far as the individual is concerned, is completely and utterly and wonderfully useless. But it's just this, right? Yeah. It's not somewhere else. 
There's nothing needs to happen. There's nothing that needs to be found. It's already this. So it's not somewhere else that needs to be brought about. There's nothing that what, needs what to happen. What is already this? What What's is? What's looked for? What's this. Looked for? What is? This is it. This. Exactly as it, exactly as it is. That's what the separate sense can't get. Because it always needs something else. But exactly, even the sense that this isn't it, is it. This is it. Exactly as it is. See, it's a flatliner, isn't it? Sometimes it's, it's a total flatliner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that when I said it, I thought, well, that's a conversation killer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's well, where to go? Yeah. There's nowhere to go, but that's the point. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to go. Because there's nothing left. There's nothing left that's needed. It's already fulfilled. This is fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make sense. And nobody knows it. It's just the way it is. Yeah. It's not replaced by someone who can enjoy them. It's not replaced by someone who has arrived. Mm. It's just the end of that dream, which isn't replaced by anything. The miracle is that what's left then all of a sudden is whole and complete, which in a way it always was. But for no one. <coughs> It's not dead then, in that sense. But it's, not a, it's uncomprehendable, it's not alive, it's not anything, it's not something, it's not anything, it's just... Hmm. <coughs> We're still talking about this, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it can be so confronting to someone to hear that it, to hear that this is it, that this is what they're looking for. They hate it above all things. Yeah. To hear that this is actually it. It's actually just simply this, and yeah. there's a huge disappointment in that for the person. Because you're living in a, in, a, in a hopeful energy of something to come around the corner, something better around the corner. So to hear that it's just this, I mean, that's pretty shit, really. <laughs> well, it is when you hear about the everything. When you yeah. hear about uh, enlightenment and chakras and we fuck, you know, all that yeah. magic. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, very misleading. All of that's very misleading. Spirituality is very misleading. It's just... It's just, it is what it is as well. I'm not saying it's bad or good, it just is what it is, but it's obviously another thing for the person to do and another way to feed the person, you know? Yeah. Is to be a spiritual self or to be, you know. But of course, the, the other thing about it is there is no such thing as enlightenment or liberation or seeking or separation. They're simply appearances. They have no validity at all of any kind. That's the other thing that this does. It destroys any idea that there's anything important or significant or that has meaning or purpose. It completely destroys that whole life. You're left, what you're left with is, or somewhere, what you're left with is nothing. You're le if you come to a meeting here and there's a real openness thought, that you're left with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely. It's gorgeous. Well, it's the it's the Complete fact that loss. there's nothing here. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Doing anything. Yeah, that's why you've got great hair. <laughs> 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 oh fuck! Yeah. Isness, you are already all that is. You are already what you're seeking, mm. but it's been overlaid by this contracted sense of me, 
through which everything is then seen. So therefore, life isn't seen as it really is. And that just plays out as it plays out. I mean, you know, there's, there can be no agenda then for there to be, for it to be seen anywhere because who is it, who, there's nobody in there to see it. Mm. So it, when it's communicated and someone says, well, I don't believe a word of this actually and I've been doing meditation for years and I'm going to continue doing meditation and I think you're completely misguided and ignorant or whatever, then that's what's happening. There's no yeah, agenda for it. That. That's just life playing the game. That's just life saying, I think you're misguided and I think that's what's happening. You know, I kind of intellectually can get that. Mm. I, 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 I can get the perspective of, you know, it is kind of happening mm. by itself. I, I can get it. Mm. But but and that's dissatisfying. And that's, and that's, that getting. And that's and so that's the feeling well, I've I haven't that, got it. And that's where it's missed. Yeah, okay, go on, yeah. Because I don't get it. Nothing yeah. here gets that there's no one here. Yeah. There's nobody there to claim no one absence. There's just yeah. it never was anyone. So the identification which was there that said there was someone here doing something falls away or is recognized as a misunderstanding. Is recognized as a misunderstanding. Yeah. I call it a psychosomatic misunderstanding because it really is, there really is a lot of tension yeah, okay. and stuff that, that comes in the sense. body. Yeah. And it, but it's basically a misunderstanding. It's a misidentification. It is mental, like. It is mental. <laughs> it is mental, you know. Yeah. You see, from this perception, when, this, when, the, when it kind of appears to happen, uh, I can see how it could be perceived as being mental, but it's not mental at all. I mean, in actuality, the, the sense of being a person is, is the insane thing. Yeah. It's complete insanity. They're running around, we're all running around thinking we're in control and we have control over our lives. Where's your life? Where do you have it like? Because me thinks that, okay, this may be wholeness, but still something has to happen with me or for me. Like, oh, okay, this is wholeness, but now I have to get it. That this is wholeness. That's the dream. It just already is wholeness. Or the unknown, or actually, there is no real word for this. How can there be a way to that which already is? This is actually what people search for. This, what is. So there isn't a way to what is. There just is what is. Yeah. It's not something that can be found or got. It already is. The only thing that's in the way of it is that which believes it isn't, which is the seeker. The seeker thinks it's somewhere else. After I've meditated, after I've self-inquired for three years, then I'll find it. No, you're sitting on it, you're breathing it. It is this. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> there's no search, there's no, how can there be a path? How can there be approach to that which already is? It's ridiculous. Mm. You can't get into it, yeah? Mm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. T uh, two reasons, because, uh, yeah, I said it before, because me is not separate, but the dream of me only consists of staying separate. Can't get into it. It would be death, that's death. Yeah. Dying into it, one could say. Dying into what is, and not staying separate from it. But why would me want to do it? Me doesn't want to die. <coughs> I mean, there isn't a real me to choose anyway, but <laughs> one could say, even if there was a me which could choose, it for sure wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's like, so I, I actually could, I, I could probably chat here for a while. I enjoy here, you know, but, um, it's kind of like you know you, you you come away from this going what the fuck like, what the fuck yeah I mean seen from so this the is not real like you know in a way it, it, it is, mm. 
No, I am not real. I, me, I am not real. What the fuck? Well, it was eight to twenty. Mike, you ready? Come on. <laughs> Let's have a fight. He said, everybody can watch us from the windows outside. We'll have a full on fucking fist fight. How dare you? <laughs> you yeah. know. But yes, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't uh, argue with it. I, actually, no. I don't have the the words or I don't have anything to argue with it. This is the most dangerous thing for the individual. <laughs> so when you speak it sounds like uh, something is known there different than uh, for me mm. seems like there's a different perspective on mm. what's happening yeah and it's interesting because it's exactly the opposite there's something known there yeah. which covers up the reality that there's nothing happening when there's nothing known there's nothing happening See, mm -hmm. you told the story before about you coming and all the rest of the things yeah. that happened to you. That's what you know. Yeah. Without that, there's nothing happening. Mm. Incomprehensible like that. Is, yeah. Isn't it? Well, it would have to be. Because if it was comprehensible, it would be in a duality. It would be knowing and known. Knower, known. Mm. It's just the one place you'd never look. It's completely unexpected. Because you, you can't look there, though. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> I didn't make it up. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger! <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um. That's the reason it's unbelievable, because it's just completely unexpected. It's not logical. No. It's not sensical. It's not rational. It's actually illogical. Nonsensical. This is pure anarchy. He doesn't recognize any sort of authority at all, all hierarchy. There's no hierarchy, there's no authority, because all there is, is this. Nobody knows there's oneness, nobody knows anything. It's the end of that which knows and thinks it's aware. It's the end of awareness. It's really it's the piece is everything that well, completely, yeah, yeah. Does, everything yeah, that yeah. you've learned from day dot or whatever is ripped yeah. apart. In well, no, totally, in what yeah. you're saying there. Yeah, but when it's also though when it's heard it's just so obvious this is totally known, it's I mean it's just it's so 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 obvious that this is it. Mm. It's just, it doesn't, it's not a concept, like, it's not taken on as I've taken on another concept. It's a, it's, just, that's when there's lots of laughter. It's just, obviously, it's completely this. It's high, it's appearing to hide by being so ridiculously, ordinarily, already just this. It can't come close to communicating how ordinary and obvious it is. Mm. And that's why it's just continually overlooked. I think, I think the, the most, the thing that, that, that in a way is different, you can never say it, but, but in a way it's at the foundation of all this, is that what people are looking for is not some spiritual orgasm or anything special or light sort of, it's actually about something totally ordinary like sitting on a seat or walking out of the room or breathing. It's, it's about something that's completely ordinary and constantly happening. So I'm always saying to people, what you long for is constantly happening to you right now it's happening to you what you long for is happening to you like an ache in the arm or feeling warm or having a thought that's the beloved that's the that's what you long for but you can't have it it's just happening and your difficulty as a, a as a me or a self is that the awareness you think you have keeps everything away like people sit on the chair and they're aware of sitting on a chair and that creates a separation. I am a person in here that's aware of something else called sitting on a chair. That's how people remain apart. That's the, that's the dilemma. That's the flat line. That's the flat line there. <laughs> yeah. It is. And there's nothing to say about it. And, and, you know, people will say, well, what are you left with if there's no awareness? And you, nobody can tell you that. I can't tell you that. It's unknowable. It is the unknowable business. 
But it's everything. It isn't some strange thing up in the sky. It's the leaves, this guy here. It's this chair, it's the voice. It's whatever it is. So the beloved is constantly with you. You can't escape from what you long for. It's constantly with you because all there is, is what is. It's, isn't that stunning? People rush all over the world. I meditate. They do this chanting thing uh, with, with apparent gurus. They try to do self-inquiry. And what they don't realise is that where they are and what they are is what, it, is, is what they long for. It would be it would it would be serious and sad if it was important. Yeah. It's only important to the seeker. It's not important to this. Nothing's important. There just is what there is. Thoughts yeah, wait, still happen. Thoughts still happen. Yeah. Yeah. Emotions still happen. But there's something about the the loss of that psychosomatic misunderstanding. Yeah. That no longer do they need to go searching about what they mean mm. or where they came from or if they're the right thought or the wrong thought okay and is there a so there's a lot less energy focused on thoughts so there is only what appears to be happening so if there's a thought there's just thought arising there's nobody's it, it no longer feels like my thought so from my You're perspective just feeling that, here, that, it no longer feels like my feeling so it's just a feeling arising, and it, that that just simply is life as it as it really is. It's just that there's no separate person there. But you see, once I feel like a self, I can only see another self. So I can all I can think of is in the personal. Then yeah. So then when I hear the message, I'm trying to apply it to the personal on top of what's been said, and I can't even imagine, I can't conceive of there not being anybody. So that's the thing, it's incomprehensible as well, you see, this whole, you know, the idea, because I am living in a world of from A to B to C, and whilst, so this is the point I was trying to make about the, I want to find holes in this, I want to f argue with this, but I, I can't as well, because it's, 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 it's it makes sense. It kind of I, it, I, I, it resonates as well. It resonates. I don't like the word "fucking mm. resonates," but I see it as yeah, this is right as well. Mm. So you know, <laughs> I mean, you you can't argue with it because in a way, your me is arguing with a reality that doesn't exist, yeah. well, that's like A and B and I am and reality and there is a world and there are rules and it's functioning like that and 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 yeah. so also there there isn't a real get together of those those two won't meet so if you mean that somehow in a yeah, way in the, in the end they can't meet because they two aren't separate yeah. but the me is an appearance and um, it's it's real and unreal everything is real and unreal some people say the me is a, is a total illusion the self is a total illusion and, and sometimes the, what the mind will do is just every, the mind likes it will do this thing called um, like it'll do the it'll do the play of opposites the duality of things that um, so what you're saying is things are everything is an illusion everything is real because because the mind moves like that in a, in a play of opposites yeah. it'll kind of gladly go there you know and intellectualize but what to say that it's both is very the mind can't go anywhere. Yeah, well that's the everything and nothing. And yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. why you all have just hit a brick wall, and that's all yeah. that can happen because the mind can't even begin can't, to can't. integrate. It. <laughs> no. Because because when I feel when I say the mind is like this person, because I feel like a, a solid separate self, I can go to the opposite of that. Do you know everything is not separate? It's everything is you know because I can just switch around the opposites. Yeah. But to say that I am and I am not and everything is and isn't, it's just can't intellectualize no. that or go anywhere. There's nothing. <laughs> that, that, like, that's, can't grasp yeah. it at all. It doesn't need to be grasped. Why, why would you want that? In a way, why would me want its absence? Yeah. It's not suggested even. <laughs> Here's yeah. not a suggestion for you to be absent. In a way, you are not there already. The absence, or the absence of me is already is in a way it's just mind blowing really. no, it it's is. just not but it is it blows the mind 
yeah. mind will fight with it, the thinking, you know, intellect will try and fight with it, but it can't fight with it because it has nothing to get hold of. Which in a way is, a, is slightly different than say that you have to die. I mean, it's completely different. Yeah. Because in a way what's being said is there isn't even anyone to die. This is wholeness or this is no thing as it already is. That's the miracle. And in a way that, that is that me can't access. There isn't anything that's ever the same. It's alive and it's, it's instantly alive in that, uh, in that isness. Well, it, there is no real progression. Yeah. So the, the, se the sense of I always sees everything as a progression. Yeah. But there isn't, isn't one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's just any idea there's something you can do about it, like acceptance or openness or surrender, it's bullshit. Yeah. The me doesn't want to surrender or give in. It wants to go on fighting and looking for something. It's, in a, it's at war with itself, so it's always battling on. That's the law. Yeah. And, so, and it's only at death, it's like Tony said, at total death, then it seemed that there was nobody there in the first place. <coughs> yeah, one could say in exhalation, the last exhalation, it in the moment of death, it's obvious that there isn't yeah. anything that dies. My father smiled just before. That's what I second. say, the last exhalation is always relaxing. Yeah, he smiled just yeah. before he hit no one just before Until it that, there can be everything, oh, fighting, he was, he acceptance, was trying to run out all of the room. kind. Yeah. All kind, but the last exhalation is always peaceful. Yeah. That yeah. Is, yeah. In a way, that's liberation. Yeah. Yeah, a big smile came in his face. I thought he got ten virgins or something it's like that. Over. It's all over. Yeah. That's the. Yeah. That's the cruel joke about it. So. In other words, and what's hiding is not hiding by being obtuse or complex or difficult, you know, like the, you know, the person on the mountain meditating. It's just hiding, appearing to hide, but already being everything. Um, it's appearing to hide by just being obviously and ordinarily everything that already is. But then the mind, when you feel like a person, that energy is that it's a rejection of what is in favor of what might be for me so there's a, pu a rejection of what seems to be happening and, and push pushing away what seems to be happening into for this movement towards something better all the time mm. and then it's just that what so what is what is real life as it really is is not then being seen it's over layer it's overlaid with this uh, apparent me but in a way this this message cuts the future or cuts Fucking everything. Yeah. And so me is just here and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just here with nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing that's very powerful is that there's obviously no self-consciousness. There's nobody here trying to please anybody or displease anybody. There's nobody here that actually, in a sense, has any investment in what's going on at all. That comes across very powerfully, I think. Yeah. What's he on? What's he about, this guy? Well, he isn't. There isn't anyone. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we are at the beginning. There's nothing to say. There isn't even an issue. There is no real question. There is no real answer. It doesn't lead anywhere. The whole talk, the whole conversation doesn't lead to somewhere else. There is no authority. There is no the, a clear message is come is nobody's message. It's coming from nobody. Nobody. It's coming from no thing to no thing, and that so that goes for wherever the message. It's absolutely nobody's message. It's completely impersonal and mm. nothing to do with anybody at all. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, man! Yeah. It's going to be huge in the fucking cinema. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be massive. This kind of feeling of, well, you know, maybe 
I can get this still. And isn't that just so... Mm. And yet equally it's it's kind of a want to run from That's it. That's ridiculous, so, yeah. yeah. And so then there's bordering on kind of, bordering yeah. on kind of insane yeah. sometimes. Yeah, well, in a way it's a sort of, I mean, it's a schizophrenia. And me is schizophrenic in a sense because it's saying there is this. And I can, but I can get it, and that's the, that's the split. But if this is it, why would you need to get it if it's? Yeah. That isn't there, you see, and that's the problem for me. If this is. What does he mean that? Uh, well, I could do that, <laughs> but I'm it? doing it. That's the trouble. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I can't even say to you. Just wait. I love that, though, yeah. There's nothing, there's no, nothing to wait for. Yeah. You know, wait for it to happen? Bullshit! You know, it's not going to happen. Liberation doesn't happen. The only thing that does is that which thinks it is going to happen. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 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 Come on! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. And all out fight. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Everybody looking out. Yeah, we were, yeah. Well, they're having an interview outside. Oh, yeah, well, they're not Just they're mixing punching it up, yeah. the lights out of each other. Oh, oh great. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, fella. All right, thanks very much. Thank you uh, so much. Yeah. I probably would get some footage of inside. Yeah, 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 yeah fine. And I might put that yeah. little device down that's here fine. beside. Yeah. Great. And I'd get home and I'd be alive and I'd be grand. And then, yeah, yeah, once you're out of it. I'd be home then. Once you're out of it, you'll be all right. I'd hug my family and everything would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> For a while. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. Cheers to you. Okay, thanks for setting you up. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm glad we did it because it was like a touch and go with we better manage it. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. I'm gonna faint. Anyway, do you play that much? Guitar? Yeah. Let's know. You can play it all right. Do you think? I think, yeah. Not just saying that now to make you feel good about yourself. Not just lavishing heaps praise. of praise on me there. Yeah. You know, you just... <laughs> it's a bit over the top, that. No? That's why I didn't quite believe it. I wasn't sure if I believed you. The praise? The praise. Was, oh, you know, no, you can do it all right. You can, you're able to yeah, pluck. you know, you're not bad there now. Yeah. Well, the little I know, you seem to be able to move around with a bit of carefreeness, which is a good sign, isn't it? I guess so, yeah. I enjoy it anyway. Well, I know nothing about guitars, so you can just totally disvalue that. Well, the huge the compliment, huge, yeah, the compliment, huge compliment, yeah. yeah. It's all over, honey. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's this. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Uh, it's consistent anyway, which I like. <laughs> well, what's wonderful is that wherever you go, whatever you do, when you walk out of here right now, wherever you go, whatever happens, 
later on, apparently today, that which you long for never leaves you. That which you long for is constantly singing the song of love to you. It's constantly singing all the time. It's there all the time. It never left you.